Hey, it's your boy ASAP, man. Throughout this next season, I really wanna share what God is putting on my heart through these videos. I really hope that you're ministered and blessed by them. And if you haven't yet, press that bell notification so you can see more music, more testimony videos, and also encouraging words. I really wanna start off with this message that God put on my heart. I really feel the need to share this with y'all. I've been seeing a lot of Christians posting pictures of other Christians and calling them out to be fake. Be careful of doing this. I'm not saying you're wrong in what you believe about this person, but the truth is, this is a brother and sister in Christ, and that's probably on a different level than you, and you're calling them to be fake. The fact is that God is probably gonna keep using them in some sort of way in their life they're gonna be used. Be careful trying to expose them by saying their name and posting pictures of them because someone else might see it and miss out on the blessing that God has for them through the person you're trying to expose. God still used you when you didn't have it all figured out. Truth is, we all don't have it figured out. We are all on different levels of faith and going from glory to glory. Remember this, Matthew 13, another parable he put forth to them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in the field. But while the men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went away. But when the grain sprouted, it produced a crop. Then the tares also appeared. Then the servants of the owner came and said to them, Sir, did you not sow good seed into our field? How then does it have tares? And he said to them, An enemy must have done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together and until the harvest, and at the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, first gather up the tares and bind them into bundles and burn them but gather up the wheat into my barn. So listen, God is saying don't uproot the tares. If you uproot them, you will cause damage to the wheat also. And I know it's so tempting to uproot your brother and sister, but let them live. And at the end, God will sort it out. You don't need to put a face on the person that doesn't preach the same as you. They may be wrong, but let God work that out. You wanna work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And don't write them off either. Even a tree that produces bad fruit, it can be cut down and regrow from the stump that's still there. And with all the disease that the tree had on its branches and bad fruit it was producing from it, if they are rooted in Christ, it can grow back and be a good tree. I believe this to be true because once I was a bad tree. And I say this in love, shalom.